Hi, I'm here at the campus of uh, Model International Criminal Court here in Belgrade, Serbia, uh, where we have arrived just now. Uh, the travel was a bit exhausting, not gonna lie, but I'm still happy to meet the new partic the participants here. Uh, the press team, which I'm personally a uh, member of, will be covering this whole event and uh, we will share our exper experiences with you actually. Uh, tonight we have meeting to get to know each other better because uh, every participant is from like different region. I think from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Serbia and uh, Germany. Now we are having breakfast, and since it's the first morning here, I want to show it to you. The agenda for today will be discussing human rights and fundamental law. But to be honest, I don't know anything about it, uh, but I guess that's why we're here. Today we are going to do cultural exchange. It's an exercise where every group will showcase either their country or their hometown so we can get to know each other better. I think me and my friends are going to do like a dance. So I hope I don't embarrass myself with my bad dance moves. finally get to work on our expected cases. The themes are as follows, prosecution, defense, the judges, and last but not least, the press team, which is the best team. I'm actually pretty excited about today's agenda because it will be the first trial simulation of the cases we've been working on. Well, the role of international criminal uh, law is to um, prevent other uh, crimes in the future to happen and to uh, make people uh, be aware of the fact that uh, there will be consequences for the actions they uh, have, that have done in the past. The most uh, interesting part I think was at first to, to get to, to know the case and to get to know the situation that was in Yugoslavia a lot better, so um, I was really interested in that and I learned a lot. Uh, during the preparation for the case, we really uh, thought, uh, we were really thinking deeply about the prosecution argument, so we were, uh, I would say we were mostly prepared for the uh, prosecution arguments, but when they um, when they said something unexpected, we were very calm, I would say, and we uh, we made a deal uh, in our team, and we calmly answered the, or uh, gave the uh, um, opposite argument. The trials just ended, so they were pretty interesting. Like everybody was so prepared and like uh, very competitive, I have to say. We also had um, a press conference, uh, which we prepared a lot of questions for. Uh, with Asos and Katrina's help, they're pretty amazing. So we did it really good. And um, I have to say the judges' verdicts were pretty interesting. That's it for me. Peace. What motivates me the most is seeing the participants of this program come out with these feelings at the end. So it's only one week and you get all these people to connect so much that they don't actually want to leave at the end. 
And that is actually something that's really, really cool to see and to experience. In the context of MICC, I think Press Team has one of the most important roles because it creates content that will be living even when the program ends. And I think that's the most important value of things. We will all go home, all the participants, all the trainers, we all leave this place at some point. And besides our memories, which we take inside our minds, the only thing that's left behind for other people to see is actually what Press Team creates. Hi guys, today we are in Belgrade and in the background you can see the whole city. The view is so beautiful. Actually, today is the last day of MICC and that's why we have been doing some sightseeing and we have learned about a lot about the history of Belgrade and Serbia in general. And yes, we are so happy to be here. Uh, this is a very intense program and it re requires a lot of effort from each student. So uh, basically, not only that they are learning a lot, uh, developing critical, uh, critical thinking and public speaking skills, but they are also learning a lot about themselves, that they are capable of doing many awesome things and that basically whatever they set their mind to, they are capable of achieving it. I stayed uh, in this program simply because I really enjoy um, the reward that I'm getting every time I'm doing MICC uh, in a way that every time I see a student uh, being comfortable enough to speak up publicly or they have this like uh, a sparkle in their eyes when they realize that some kind of argument is very good for they, their case, I find those moments very rewarding and that's why I stayed uh, for almost seven or nine years uh, in, in the MICC as a trainer. We've had an incredible time here at the MICC, meeting new people, learning about international law, and witnessing some truly passionate arguments in the courtroom. But it's not just the courtroom that has impressed us. The energy and enthusiasm of all the participants have been infectious. As we reflect on our time here, we realize that this experience has been more than just a reporting assignment for us. It's been an opportunity to learn, to grow, and to connect with people from all around the world who share our values. We're grateful for this experience and for the memories we will take with us. As we pack up our cameras and microphones, we say goodbye to the MICC and look forward to our next adventure.